Our next feature is a historical play written by renowned thespian Professor Samu Kala and performed in Asaba, the Delta State capital. We must tell this story. Will I be so sad or not? And no one here. Look at that. No one here can tell the story better than us. Yes. Our grandfathers were part of it. Iredi war drama is inspired by the history of our kingdom a community in the Ka local government area of Delta State in the southern part of Nigeria. It goes back to the 1900s, capturing the pre-colonial era. Chief Aibo, your forefathers were primitive, ignorant and not to be like barbarian. We still, we still are. Haven't you told us this a number of ways? But listen to me this. How can we now make white the black girls of the dog? Which dog? Who is talking about? Not that, not that. Of course I understand. This indolent and wobbly rebarrow with words is a sure death of their primitiveness. Mm. Now, Jim Ivo, to make white the black nose of the door. Mm. That was why I sent those evangelists to you. And they are your fellow blacks who have seen the light. But how did you receive them? Very well, Mr. Daisy. A dark period at the time where oppression reigned supreme. The person holding the reins of power is the Assistant District Commissioner O.S. Crewred, whom the people called Owa. Chief Ayubaba, call your chief to order, or I will have them flogged. Oh, no. Only you may address me here. Mm. As you can see, my people are quiet while I talk. And that's the map of civilization. These are my chiefs, this. You cannot flog them. Don't tell me. I said you cannot flog them. And let me tell you, those of you carrying king, any hand that flogs any of these chiefs, we swear up to the neck of his owner and strangle him. Nonsense! Mere superstition! Let them lay. Mr. Crew Red had no respect for tradition and wants to further show his military might by sending men to arrest the Obi of Owa, who he believes is inciting the people against him. a stiff resistance from the crown and youth who insist this is a joke taken too far. But all the racket could not stop the might of Mr. Red's men who kill the youth leader and arrest the others. Look, my king. Look, look. We have won. We have won. We have won. We have won. Look at them. They are coming. No. Look at them. My queen, you are making a mistake. It is war. No, 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 no. <laughs> look at their face. Look at the fear in their running feet. Well, let us hear it, warrior. It is not good, mm. Your Majesty. Whatever it is, drag it all the same. Mm. They swat off like a knockoff in a thunder press farm. We are overwhelmed like an evil flaw. Your Majesty, we are finished, though. Hey. All is finished. We offered the leper a handshake. Hey. Now he has engulfed us in his smelly embrace. <laughs> Go! 
gods of our land. My ancestors. It's the police, it's them. Word gets back to the community, angry youth ensure they have enough men to retaliate, and Mr. Kuret finally meets his Waterloo. The British government will have none of this. It sends an army to teach the people a lesson and a full-blown war breaks out. Stay back. Talk to anyone. Yes, stay back. Let's, the elders, handle this matter. Perhaps you will let one or two of our members. You again? Have I not warned you not to step into my palace? Are you deaf? The king orders you to disappear! No one here can order me. There is only one! Hey, 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 The playwright, who is a professor of theatre art and drama at the Delta State University, is happy about the approach the director has taken in interpreting this play. There were 124 entries from Nigerians living all over the world, and this play won the award. So Kingsley Aimo thought that the play needed to be shown to Deltans. That's why he asked her to go ahead to do it. And those driving this production believe the message is apt. Our productions are most times staged to correct the ills of the society. You know, that's most of the, one of the roles they play. And also to project the cultural heritage of Nigeria to the outside world. So most times we are cultural diplomats who try to do this, just like um, a ready war. I actually chose, initially I wasn't going to do a ready war, but when I saw that it was, the ready war is a reminder, you know, that we can resist change and challenges through unity. Stage production is much more difficult than the movie. The cast, because we are not in an academic environment, it was difficult to gather them. And when you gather, some of them do work in several places. And at the time of rehearsal, rehearsal may be for 4 o'clock, you see persons coming in after 5 because they have to attend to their own personal jobs. So we had it very, very difficult. But I must stay here to still say that the cast, the crop of persons I had as the cast of this production, in fact, I say God that God will bless them because they were cool headed. They were the persons that are ready to listen. And they listened, and that is why you, you are now seeing us coming out as good as this, as people have said. A ready war has been highly rated both in and outside the country. It won the Nigeria Prize for Literature in 2014. Still to come on Art House, artists paint memories of a day they won't forget in a hurry. We'll give you details when we return. <laughs> 